Life growing up was interesting for me. Um, so I grew up a military brat, which means I moved every two, two years, two or less years. I went to the Coast Guard Academy right out of high school. Uh, I graduated with an engineering degree there, and then I spent uh, most of my career on ships, on Coast Guard cutters. I spent 36 years in the Coast Guard and retired uh, after that. Our family was a tight-knit family. We would move wouldn't know a whole lot of people, and we'd just get closer and closer every time we'd transfer, I think. One of the pluses of moving around like that is that our, our children, both of them, they're, they're less than two years apart in age, uh, so that they've been naturally close. And when we move somewhere, they get really close together, and it's built a strong friendship over many, many moves. It's been really heartwarming for me to see that as they both ended their 20s here, that they are still very, very close to each other. And I know that that's a bond, I think, I think, for moving around that made it so strong. It was a little different moving around a lot. I transferred schools almost every single year. There was one year where it was nine consecutive schools and nine consecutive years. I mean, that's all I knew. That's like how life was. I didn't realize how weird that was until about fifth or sixth grade where I'm like, this is not normal. <laughs> like, we are not a normal family. That first uh, instance when you're going to school and you don't know anybody and you're kind of by yourself, you're that that, that one person that, you know, is sitting at the lunch table by yourself, or it, you know, that, those are some really difficult things that kids go through. It taught them to be strong, and it taught them that they could persevere, and it taught them great ability to, to adjust. A lot of people ask me if I think it's annoying that we move every two years, and I loved it. I got to ex a fresh new slate every single year. Um, I got to make new, meet new people, make new friends, and I got to explore the country. Like, I moved in, I lived in five different states, I think, and each state had its own qualities that I really enjoyed and I look back to a lot. It's easy when they're young. Uh, when they start getting older, it gets harder, and the hardest part, I think, was in middle school, and we were moving from Washington, D.C. to uh, Cleveland, Ohio, or the other way around, I can't remember which it was. And uh, that move had just really worried me a lot, and I remember talking to Maggie one night about it, and I, I was talking to her and asking her how, what she thought about the move, and that, you know, I was, was kind of trying to comfort her that things will be okay on the other end. And her comment to me was, she goes, well, geez, Dad, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. I felt like part of my job was is to keep things rolling as a family as if we weren't moving. The one thing that I was very adamant about is our kids needed to be in an activity and sports was that activity. I started in third grade. I think I was about nine years old. But I started at the YMCA level and learned to actually love the game and decided that was when I wanted to perfect the game, start getting better. I actually played a lot of sports before that, and once I tried volleyball for the first time, I'm like, I'm done, this is it. <laughs> a lot of my family lives here, so all that moving around, Michigan has always been that home base for me. My whole mom's half of the family lives 20 minutes away, so I've always been around Michigan State. Having that family link when I came here, that definitely drew me closer to choosing Michigan State over other schools. And she stepped foot on this campus here and it was five minutes. She goes, this is the place. My freshman and sophomore year, my family actually lived in San Francisco. So they were across the whole country, didn't come to a lot of games, couldn't make it. But they actually just moved to Lansing area this past year. So having them around is very comforting for me. It's really a, a plus to be here. When I retired 
one of the things that I told Mary is that we're gonna go wherever she wants to. And so we were fortunate enough to move back here to her hometown and see her family all the time and see Maggie play and get to, get to bring our friends and our family out to the game. Very cool. You know, it's really exciting for them to see like what I've been working on the past two years because they haven't been able to see it before. You know, one of the things that's, that's interesting about this, for Maggie going to college, this is the longest she's ever lived anywhere in her whole life. And so these, these relationships she, she has with her teammates because they're just together all the time is really, really strong. These volleyball relationships, I think, will be there for life as well.